This side, Rahul Magan here is a Chief Executive Officer of Tarchi Consulting PT Limited. And today we would be covering a very practical topic which is Tom Spot Carry. Now this is not a comic topic wherein I am using a Tom Spot Carry. Generally I am very familiar in the media and uh, YouTube channels wherein I am talking about a carry and a reverse carry. Even on our WhatsApp groups also we are talking too much about the carry and reverse carry. And that fact is happening true that Indian rupee is moving towards reverse carry. Because by the time Donald Trump is here, he is surely going to be rising the Federal Reserve rate several times, at least three times during this year. And I hope you are watching Bloomberg TV, wherein they have clearly specified the Fed, FOMC, Federal Open Market Committee. They have clearly specified that boss market, sorry, boss the committee is in sync to hike another rate in June. And I'm sure that that has been priced in now. But uh, because the one year LIBOR is approximately 2.7% and with this hike, I am expecting this to turn in 3%, which is pretty high. We don't trust that few years ago, the one year LIBOR was 0.84%. And now this is all set to touch 3%. So you can see that and hopefully I might not be surprised that uh, because of Donald Trump, the 10 year UST, which has already reached 3% or, or a tad higher than 3%, practically uh, trading at 3.06%, might touch 3.5% which is what the demon demon means the JP Morgan Chase president uh, CEO the head of JP Morgan Chase is clearly said that I'm expecting 10 year UST to approximately 3.5% these all things were pre are pretty good when it comes to carry and reverse carry but when it comes to the tactical shift which is uh, which is the trading how traders are doing we are going to be cover a very different topics wherein we are talking about only one currency so let us take Tom spot carry wherein we have only two things. Number one, which is short Tom, which is buy Tom and sell cash. One is long Tom, which is sell Tom and buy cash. If as a corporate, as an individual, as a retailer or as an individual proprietary trader, if you are thinking that you are able to do this, then excuse me boss, this is not possible. The reason being this trade is not possible on the exchange. You do whatever. Secondly, as a corporate also, you cannot take this trade. The reason being RBI has not permitted only banks being permitted by Reserve Bank of India to do that. So from a regulatory angle also, it's not possible for a corporate or an independent prop trader or people those who are trading on the exchanges to replicate that. Only banks can replicate that. But before that, let me give you a story. The story is that there are two kinds of banks which, are, which we have in India. One is the foreign bank and one practically public sector oblique Indian bank. So foreign bank like JP Morgan Chase, Standard Chartered, HSBC, UBS, Goldman Sachs, Barclays and the list is pretty long, right? BNP, Paribas and long. On the other hand, uh, when it comes to uh, the Indian bank, you have SBI, ICICI, Yes Bank, PNB. PNB is a very known bank nowadays. Credit goes to Nira Modi. So the list is pretty long, right? Now what happened, we are shooting this video approximately 3.40 p.m. IST on 25th of May. Now at 4.30 p.m. IST, markets will close, I am putting a word cross, market will close for corporate and it would be open for, for it and it would be open for banks for square. We not use the word wind up, we will use the word square. Because in a day, bank takes so many positions in so many currencies. Like we have taken the example of a bank like JP Morgan Chase. They have taken so many positions in so many currencies, so they need to wind it up. If they not been able to wind it, wind it up, they will pass it to the NDF desk who is coming by. Because after India, it is rough. At, after 5, they will pass to London desk. If London desk will not be able to wind up, they will pass to the US desk. And US desk will pass to Australia. Anyways, this never happened. The reason being, JP Morgan itself able to wind it up. And even if they pass, then the nearest end of desk will wind it up. So it's not like that it keep revolving and so on and so forth. At 5, approximately 30 minutes here and there, after 5, there are two reports which being submitted to RBI. One is NOP, Net Overnight Position. And one is NOOP, Net Overnight Open Position. This is for all the public sector banks, oblique Indian banks, those who have foreign setup like SBI, like ICICI, not sure about the Yes Bank, but they might have, I'm not sure. So all Indian banks like SBI and ICICI, I'm sure they are, they are doing on NOOP. On the contrary, all the foreign banks, JP Morgan, Standard Chartered and all in all, they do on the 
they do NOP reporting. Now, NOP reporting or NOOP reporting is actually sum of all three, these three, which is, uh, let me write here, which is the open spot position or you will say that the net spot position, you can say that the net forward position and one is the net options position. I am requesting please do not come to me and say what is the definition of that because if you wanted to have the definition of that then you should visit RBI Interbank and Risk Management Circular which is very well available on the Google and also on the website where you will get a better knowledge of that because as an independent treasury head and, and now we are running the treasury of the EXL I will completely disregard the statement being given by the RBI this is technically incorrect but anyways just for the sake of knowledge that the Tom spot carry lies here so maybe in any of the interview, somebody might have come up and say that uh, uh, when you do the NOP reporting, where the Tom spot carry lies, the Tom spot carry lies in net forward position. I know the answer must be coming in your mind that boss, uh, for just above that you are writing net spot position, and you are here talking about the spot uh, carry. In this, you are you are taking this in the net forward position. This is what RBI circular is saying. Please visit; you will get an answer of that. Now this is the uh, pricing which I have taken from Bloomberg. Currently spot is 67.82 and, and uh, the uh, ask side is 67.84. Generally the meaning of bid and ask is that bid means the exporter, the sell side, which is practically right and ask means the importer which is buy side. But these things will not hold true for three things, for three uh, numbers which is overnight, cash spot and top. For all these three number, overnight, cash spot and tom, these three do not applicable. The reason being it is reversed. Now this is, this 0.8, 1.8 and this one, this is exporter. And this is importer. Spot will continue to be intact. So this is the exporting spot, this is the importer swap, spot. But for points, you have to go reverse. But in case of forward premium, you will again be back to the position. Now, don't, please do not ask me why this, because this is law of land. This is something I've been talking to Reuters and talking to, I've written in several forums that why we have such dilemma that we are on the another side, although when all forward premiums and everything on the one side, but this is the response, what is something which we are getting. Uh, we we not practically not getting any response. Now, here we go. We will create a table. Let me write here, which is exporter. And let me write here again importer. Let's calculate three things. Please look at carefully. Overnight, 67.82, which is the exporting spot, minus 0 0.80 pesa. 0 0.80 pesa. This stands 61.8120. One is cash spot 67.82 minus 1 1.80. 67.8020. One is Tom 67.82 minus 1. I know the answer is pretty simple, but still I'm calculating 67.8100. So spot I have taken this, but the points I have taken this. In case of importer, 67.84 minus 0 0.30. Oh, this is this is 30.30. Pesa. Gas spot, let me write here because the space is less. Gas spot 67.84 minus 0 0.80, which is equals to 
This is cash spot overnight is 67.84 minus 0.5 into 0 0.01, which is equals to 67.8350. So you can have a look again. This is how we compute it. Uh, yes, 67.8350. Now this is export, this is import. Today we are sitting on 25th May 2018 and that is why I shooted this video on Friday because today and tomorrow is off. Now a trader, there are two traders, trader A and trader B. Trader A is sitting at JP Morgan, trader B is sitting at Standard Chartered Bank. Trader A is of the view that boss today it is 67.82. The Trump Kim summit has been cancelled. Congress is before Trump as usual, and Trump has not been able to justify why he cancelled it except a diplomatic answer that me and my team was not ready for that, which is I also believe is not a right answer because once you are casting that, you should have a tactical answer. He thinks that Indian rupee will get down, so it will get down. Now, what I would be doing, I would be selling, I would be long term. So I would be selling Tom, which is what is Tom? I would be selling Tom, not carefully. Now I'll again tell you, you would be selling the Tom, which is here, 60 and 67.81. And you would be buying the, you would be buying the cash, which is spot. Where is spot? 67.84. Would this trade work? Definitely not. This is long term. He would be selling at this, buying at this. This is reluctant. He would be going short term. He would be selling term. Uh, short term means he would be buying at 67.81 and he would be selling at 67.84. Standard Chartered Bank will also do the same, provided how his view like. Generally, we have a tendency whereby we believe that traders are taking, they let their position open, they take a forward position, they take they take delta position, which is right. Because one of this, which is net options position is, is computed on the net delta. I'm not differentiating, which is right, completely right fact. So do not uh, have, a, have a double viewpoint. They take delta position, sometimes they take gamma position also. But when it comes to the spot position, traders often do Tom spot carry. Now, if your mindset is saying that, would they always be right? Answer is no. Who knows? And especially after Trump, tomorrow he at in the night when everybody is sleeping in this world except US, he will come out with a tweet that Mr. Kim, let's meet on uh, the date which we agreed in Singapore, and dollar strength again got back, and again uh, this trade uh, this trade went into losses. Who knows? Maybe. In the night, he will write a tweet that, Mr. Kim, I'm not interested meeting you next three years. Then what would happen? Then it will come down. Then, then it will, then, then it will come down. Now the moral of the story is that, now the moral of the story is that, once you take a Tom spot carry, you are taking a position which is, which is subject to volatility. You don't know how the things would be. It is subject to losses. So this is something which you have to keep an eye. You have to keep a provision of that. This is how we wanted to discuss about Tom Spot Carry. In case uh, you wanted to contact us, my email ID is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. My Skype ID is rahul5327. My platform www.fixedincome.global. My website www.treasuryconsulting.in my mobile 9899242978 you are also welcome to visit our fixed income platform which is right here you just it's an apple phone you just need to go and press www.fixedincome.global here you will go and you will get to know about our fx desk there are a lot of things in the foreign exchange market which we would be coming and Hopefully you like this video and there are a lot of videos on the way. And please do not forget that Treasury Consulting providing a lot of training programs in foreign exchange. 
In case you do have a requirement, simply open www.fixedincome.global. You will get a training section. There are a lot of training programs around. You can choose anyone. Have a wonderful time ahead. Thank you.